Hi guys, this is Jeff at Slavens Racing. I'm here with Tracy. And Tracy is in charge of all of our ERMs, all of our electronic stuff, the ECUs, ERMs, all that stuff. He does all the setup and programming and takes all the questions, uh, all the service calls about them. He's very good at it. He's better than I am. So we're going to step through the uh, ERM here. And this is a new product for the four-stroke KTMs. It's by TSP. Uh, we've been testing this a while. Absolutely phenomenal product. We've got these on the two strokes. I've had them for quite a long time. Uh, but now we're going to have them available for the four strokes. That's what an ERM looks like. Okay, and so the great thing about this product is, is that it, it's extremely adjustable for the user, for the, the guy riding the bike. It, it's very intuitive. Uh, you know, I'm an old guy. I don't really like super high tech stuff that I feel like I've got to bash my head against the wall in order to figure them out. And this is a very intuitive system, easy to use, and we're going to go through those steps with you. All right, so this piece that's on the handlebar here is the ERM, and it does not stay there. You can leave it there if you want. It's got a waterproof cover for it here, or it can you can take it off. If there's just a Velcro mount right here. Um, on my bikes, I don't leave it on all the time. I plug it in to make changes if I want to, and then I stick it in my backpack or leave it at home. Okay, guys, so I'm going to have Tracy show you how to, how to work through this, and he'll, he'll talk, talk uh, his way through it. Uh, so here we go. It's the ERM for the new four-stroke KTM, Gas Gas, and Husqvarna models. Okay, guys, so we're on the dash screen right now. It shows RPM and throttle percentage. I can take and twist the throttle wide open. It's going to show 100% back down to zero it's great for tuning because you can take and be riding it and if you have a spot in your rpm range that you feel like you want to change you can look at that and go it's in 10 percent throttle at, at 3000 rpm and you can actually go into tune which i'll show you in a second and and make those changes on the second screen you slide it to the left and it, it gives your RPM, some other information, ignition angle, coolant temperature, battery voltage, again, throttle percentage, and absolute throttle, which is pretty important, um, crankcase pressure, and which map it's in. If we don't have a switch on the newer 25 and 24 bikes, then you have to have the OEM switch with it. With the 24 and 25, we can actually go in and change it from white to green. Okay, let's, well, sh let's show them what that OEM switch looks like. Where does it go? It's on. Oh, it's on. Well, it, it, it's, it's not on the, the other same. bike. It's going to be like that. So, yeah, sorry. I don't sorry. have one to show you right this second. So we don't we don't have the uh, one for the 24, 25 that has the traction control and quick shift because um, it didn't come with this bike. So. It's in the green map and it has a green line at the bottom of it. That's how you know which map it's in. And if you tap the white, it'll go gray. And if you want to double check yourself, it shows right there which map it's in, map one. So that's a pretty pretty good deal with and not be, to be able to change and, and go from map to map. In the tune section, there's the drop down menu. This one's already had the TSP tune flash to it. It stores the original when you pair the unit to the bike after you register it online. And then it will show up in there as the original. If you want to do the TSP tune, you click on it, click on tune, go to basic, and then you will flash the OEM tune. There is a drop down menu that will show the TSP tune. Right now it's in custom because I've already been adjusting on it. So then then um, if, if, if you feel like you wanna try something different, there's the TSP tune, the richer tune, the leaner tune, and the softer tune. And then there's an aggressive tune. The aggressive is a slide bar that is also in the tune section 
and you can actually change your throttle response from really fast to really slow just by sliding that bar. You can change your engine braking from max to minimum. Same way, you can check it on that. And when you make changes with that, if it has this little emblem in the top, you'll wanna click on that to save any adjustments and then you will have to take and reflash the unit so that it that, so that it's in the ECU. If you decide you need to make a custom tune, if you make any changes, it's going to show up in custom like we had already made some adjustments, so it's showing up in a, as custom and miscellaneous, which is the throttle control and the bra engine braking and we've taken some engine braking out or aggressiveness out of the throttle. That's about it on that part. In advanced, which is also in the tune section, you tap on that and you can actually change when your cooling fan with an OEM fan. If it's a trail tech and has its own thermostat and it's hardwired, it will not adjust to it. So you click on that this one's set at 190. I changed it. When they come, they're like 205 degrees Fahrenheit. And again, you'll have to save that value, and it'll tell you that you must save, uh, you must flash it back when you save it. So if we save it and we want to keep that 190 degree on time, then we'll go back to tune basic, and then you flash it. So on to extras, it has the capability to update the ERM with, if they have new firmware that's come out or changes in the unit, you can click on that and it will connect to your Wi-Fi and then you click okay to update it will come up and tell you if there is an update or if your erm is up to date and then you can flash it without having to go back to the computer on device there's three or four pages on this and this is just uh if shows what you have purchased or if you're going to transfer the erm to another bike you do that and it'll get your information to make a transfer um, to another bike. There's a fee for doing that because the flash is then specific to this motorcycle. So it, it, it will still diagnose other bikes, but it will not flash. That tells the information of it for ID verification and which version it is and how new it is tells what, who it's registered to and the maps that are in it. You can change the units of measurement of, uh, from Fahrenheit to Celsius, which is kind of nice. You can turn the power on or off through this device. Turn what power on or off? The ECU power you can turn off or the ERM power. So you, could, you can virtually turn the whole bike off just by doing that maybe <laughs> yeah sometimes you can and sometimes you can't that was the erm power so it's rebooting itself so when we sweep through so the units of measurement ecu power and that's all there is in device Diagnostics. You can clear code, read codes, clear codes, and you can do this on any of the bikes with that have the canvas on it. You just tap that. We've done this so it would show that we had codes. It tells what codes they are. And you can actually go back and you can clear the codes. Fault codes are clearly um, successfully cleared. 
again, you can sweep to the right and it will, in the drop down menu, you can check your fuel pump to make sure that it is priming. You can check your injectors to make sure that they're working properly. It, it just goes through in cycles and makes a, a, a squirt on it. It's just fuel pump, injection, and, and injector one. The little icon there, you, it tells that it's gonna turn the pump on for several seconds if you do the run cycle on it. If you click that, then it's gonna run through all the, the priming of everything and it'll run for a few seconds, several seconds actually. That's in service two. If you're having trouble with it, you can save diagnostics. It will go back to TSP's data bank in Australia and they can physically see what's going on and help you get it running again. And that is all there is in diagnostics. There's three pages in that one. So pretty much that's all there is to it. And if you want to make changes again in your fuel system, you can make them in fuel, ignition, and the throttle slide on aggressiveness. And to adjust that, you will just tap on it. You tap in each grid. And if you want to change it a certain percentage, you can. If you want to do it just in that one, again, you have to save it with that envelope looking icon on, it, on there because if you just hit the X, it's going to ask you close without saving when I'm not going to save that. So I'll just clear it. It will throw, if you make any adjustments, it's going to throw it into customs. And if we click on customs, Every, every time it makes a change, it's gonna go into that custom, and that's what's gonna keep showing up each time. Now in pro mode, it's, it's got a more resolution to it. Let's see if I can get to that. So if you, you can't change the highlighted blue one, um, and if, uh, since we've already made a custom map, and we want to modify, it comes up with more resolution in it. And this is the fuel side of it. We can go in and instead of changing just four quadrants of it, we have like 13 or, or more that we can change. You make changes, you got to save it, and then you have to reflash it. The fuel map in green, ignition map in white, all the procedure is the same. You have to save it. You can rename it, you can, any of the uh, changes you make, you can edit the name of the map you want to make. Flashing. Everything, every time you make a, a change in the fueling, you have to reflash. Now, you can go in and just make a change in white and not touch the green, but you need to reflash the, the main TSP tune. And then there's your throttle response that you can change with that in map one and white map and the green map. That's pretty much it, guys. It's pretty simple, easy to adjust. It's a great tool um, without having to take it to a dealer as far as reading your codes, clearing your codes. Um, the, the nice thing about it is if you don't like that map, you can adjust it to where if the dealer has an updated map and you don't like it, you like the one that was in it before, that's too bad. You can't go backwards. Um, you're stuck with whatever map is in it. So for what these things sell for, this is a great tool. And it's uh, for the guys that are far away from dealers and stuff, it's it's the best thing going right now. All right, guys, I appreciate you watching this video, and, and thanks to Tracy for showing us all the steps through here. Uh, if you would, like us on Instagram, Facebook, and subscribe to us on YouTube, and uh, get out for some throttle therapy. It's all for now.